Hello, and welcome back for match two with Blue Red Blood Moon in Vintage. Uh, we are on the draw, and I feel a little bit better about this interface. I gotta be honest with you guys. Like, yeah, the card images are small, and yeah, like, this red zone here is for no reason because no one attacks in Vintage. And, like, you have to look pretty hard for, like, the important stuff that used to be, like, spread out and or much more important. But the life totals are big, and... I don't know. I could get used to this. Uh, to the to our actual hand, however, uh, we're definitely keeping this one. We've got a basic island and ponder. We've got welder. We've got force and an extraneous blue card. We basically got everything that you could want in vintage. And if they play like land thorn of amethyst, then we can go like. Scalding Tarn, Basic Mountain, Goblin Welder, and then eventually, hopefully, play Dak Faden and take their stuff. Yo, I cannot wait to steal something bigger than a Mox Jet with Dak Faden. Like Blightsteel Colossus, for instance. I want to steal Blightsteel Colossus. I want to I wanna take one shot the robot, and I want to infect my opponent. Anyway, Ancient Tomb, Mox Pearl, copying Mox Pearl, okay. I'm going to guess that was a misclick. I'm going to I'm going to give my opponent the benefit of the doubt here and say that that was a likely misclick. Um, also, we are for sure playing Ruby and then Vault plus Key with Force Backup. In case you were wondering what the nuts look looks like, it's basically this. Our opponent is going to have to have two cards that make our spells cost more. Or that, that works. Oh, come on. Please, please cast Phyrexian, whatever. No, sir! No, sir! I could take that, but I don't even want it. I could literally have that. It could be mine. But... Instead... Instead, we have won the game on turn two by drawing one of and then another one of. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done. Um, also how it's done, sideboarding out Blood Moon against Mishra's Workshop. That's how it's done. Um, missteps also just terrible against Workshops. Which leaves Dak, Ingot Chewer, some Lightning Bolts for those Lodestone Golems. So, if they're playing Karn, they're not playing Forge Master, which means that Graft Digger's Cage is going to be pretty dead against them. So, I guess we're going to get some Blood Moons back in here. And this is basically how our deck looks. We could probably use a little more action against artifacts, but I think that we're just naturally really good against them, given how much acceleration we have and how many basic lands we have and how many Dak Fadens we have. Since, like, 
one of the deals with Workshop is that they're just like super threat light. So, like, they have a bunch of mana, and then they have a dude, and then you have a bunch of mana and a Dak Fade in it, and then you take their dude, and then they have no more dude. And then you win. Uh, this is a great hand. I will keep. Time to evoke Ingot Chewer. And eat that Metal Worker. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that screen was about, but I'm going to assume it was all for the greater good. And we get our mana in play, as is our want. And hope that our opponent doesn't have Wasteland or Strip Mine. Never mind. What a monster. History's greatest. Um. Basically just want to force this pitching Jace, since we're going to need all of our mana. Ponder into Mana Vault, jeez. Um, I don't know how good this Thirst for Knowledge is going to be, so we're not going to keep that one. God no. Why would we ever shuffle? So Mana Vault basically going to like quote unquote turn off all of their spheres. And so like the reason why it mattered how we stacked our deck was Oh. Our opponent is fond of jamming them spells. So yeah, I think we would just rather have another land in case something bad happened. Like like this basically. Click. Give me that. Our opponent has seen enough. We have defeated the evil Mishra's Workshop deck with Dak Faden, the greatest thief in the universe, multiverse, all of the verses. Dak Faden's new high price item, a lodestone golem from the plane of Mirrodin. Any takers? Any at all? I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 